Imagine scuba diving without a breathing apparatus, diving down hundreds of feet on a single breath and holding it for as long as three minutes. That's free diving, an extreme sport that's growing in popularity and interest. The risks are high. Some free diving spots are considered as deadly as Mount Everest. A documentary called The Deepest Breath is now streaming on Netflix. It goes inside the sport following two free divers, Alessia Zacchini and Stephen Keenan. It is both mesmerizing and terrifying to watch. Earlier, I spoke with Laura McGann, the film's director. I asked her what drew her to the project. I read about uh, Stephen and Alessia in 2017, and, and initially I didn't know what freediving was, so I had to Google what is freediving. And I was met by these incredible images of people swimming underwater, almost like a seal or a dolphin, like with seemingly without the urge to breathe. I couldn't believe it. Like, I couldn't believe that this was something that people could do, that humans were capable of. But then over time, as I learned more about Stephen and Alessia, that's when the story, the, the gravity of the story and how universal it was, you know, it really just inspired me. It made me feel like, God, am I am I living my life to the fullest? You know, you talk about how you, it's hard to imagine people doing this. Uh, we've got a clip from the film that shows Alessia um, uh, free diving and she's talking about the experience. After 30 meters, the pressure pushing me down. It's called the free fall, and this is for me the best part. It feels like you are flying. The silence, it's unique. It's like being in the last quiet place on the earth. The way she was talking about that, it's almost like a spiritual experience. Absolutely, yeah. Freedivers say that you meet yourself down there. You know, you're holding your breath. There's nothing other than, you know, the ocean around you. Anything that you you might be kind of like uh, being not quite honest with yourself about in your own mind, you're going to find it there. So it's a it's like a deep meditation, you know, maybe in a similar way to like running a marathon. You know, you learn a lot about yourself when you're running a marathon. And like this, it's such a kind of um massive experience for the body that you do learn what you're capable of and what comes up for you i imagine i can only this is what i've heard you talk about the, when you learning from your body we've learned recently what the pressures of deep ocean can do with the uh, submersible that was going down to the titanic now these free divers don't go nearly as deep but there still is a fair amount of pressure that the water is exerting on them what did you learn about what that pressure can do to the human body? You know, if you drop your goggles at the end, at the bottom of the pool, okay, you've got to kick quite hard to get down there to get the goggles. So it's the same in the sea. So the first few meters, you've got to really kick quite hard. But once you get to 10, then 20, then 30, the pressure above you then starts to push you down. So you don't have to kick really hard to go down further. But then what happens is when you turn around to come back up, you've got to work against that pressure. It's like, swimming against the current. And they talk about something called lung squeezing or a lung squeeze. What's that? So um, when you're going down, another thing that pressure does, is pressure on your lungs, it, your lungs actually do shrink to the size of a tennis ball. And then tissue in your, in your lungs tears and that puts blood into your lungs. And over time, if that is repeated, it creates like a scarred tissue in your lungs. And then it means your lungs can't absorb um, as much oxygen as they could have if you didn't have it. So it can be quite quite a dangerous thing to to do continually. So we're talking about Alessia Zucchini. And in in the film, there's a clip of her winning her first open water free diving competition when she's only a teenager. E ho detto, vediamo quanto si può scendere in profondità. trattenendo il respiro a capire molte cose di più di te stesso. Sono riuscita a scendere fino a 52 metri. That's Alessia Zucchini. Uh, you tell the story of, about freediving 
through her and through another diver, uh, Stephen Keenan. Tell us more about them. So Alessia wanted to be a free diver from the age of about 13, which was unusual, even in Rome, where they do do pool free diving quite a bit. Um, and she wasn't allowed to compete really until she was 18 uh, because she kind of turned up and was blowing everybody out of the water. So the Federation really quickly brought in a rule to say, yeah, you, you can't do this. So she had to wait. When she came back at 18, she had a lot of fire in her belly and she absolutely um, arrived like a rocket. Stephen Keenan, on the other hand, is an Irish guy and he finished school and didn't really know what to do uh, with his life. He was a big fan of David Attenborough. So he kind of went off to be, you know, uh, his own version of David Attenborough, explore the world a little bit and just really experience what was out there. And so the story is of how Stephen and Alessia pushed themselves out into the world, followed their kind of gut instincts and eventually come together. And then what happens when they when they do? This film really makes clear the hard work that these athletes go through to, to achieve their goals uh, and push themselves to achieve their goals. But you also hear the great love they have for this sport. What did you learn about their relationship with the, the divers relationship with the sport, with free diving? One of the things that really struck me was that um, with the safety divers, you know, you have an athlete and a safety diver, say, at a competition or at a, you know, maybe even just a recreational dive. And the the, the agreement is, whether it's spoken or not, is that uh, the athlete, if anything happens to me while I'm down there, you, my safety diver, are going to bring me back up to air, uh, land, my family, uh, you know, my life. That's where my life is. It's up there. It's not down here. And, and that's the trust, it's like the ultimate trust exercise. A safety diver could save a number of lives in one day. So it builds up this like beautiful kind of trust and bond in the community that I just kind of felt was really, really unique. What do you want viewers to take away after watching this movie? I'd love for people to get a sense of like, you know, life is short. Uh, we're all passing through. And how, how do you want to spend your time here? I was struck by Stephen's attitude to life and and how he and his bravery, but going out there alone uh, into places that were unknown to him. He said that he was going to you know go out and drink up every last drop of the earth. And I just thought that is beautiful. Um, so that's something that that I really try and kind of take take a beat every so often and just kind of think about where I am and and just try and connect with the moment. A good thought. Uh, the film is The Deepest Breath. It's now streaming on Netflix. The director is Laura McGann. Thank you very much, Laura. Thanks, John. 